As part of the regular maintenance for your Aurora or Northern Lights cytometer, you should consider running a long clean at least once a month. If you use your instrument a lot more regularly, say 7 days a week, 24-7, you might even want to do it once a week. When you run a long clean, you end up flushing bleach through the entire fluidic system. And this helps keep all the valves and pumps clean and clear of anything that might be building up on your system over time as your users are running lots of interesting samples through the system. Before you run the long clean, you'll want to get a few materials ready. First, you'll want to create a solution of 10% bleach. We make this from household Clorox bleach and just dilute it 1 to 10 in DI, very clean water. And you'll want about 1 liter of this. Here I've made about a 2 liter 10% solution. You'll also need two fax tubes. One needs to have 3 ml of DI water in it. The other should have 3 ml of 10% bleach. Last but not least, you're going to need the long, clean sheath bypass assembly shown here. Once you have all of your materials ready, go into the SpectraFlow software, log in, go to the acquisition menu, and on the cytometer menu here, select long, clean. Once you have that up, it's going to say all the same things I just did. Um, the new sheath filter, you only need to replace that about once a year or so, so just ignore that item if, if it has only been six months or less frequent than that. You'll want to make sure that your waste tank is pretty empty because you will consume a fair amount of fluid, and if you're running at a full state, you be good to your instrument and go ahead and empty that before you begin. Next, you're going to want to move the sheath line over to your 10% bleach container. So here I put my 10% bleach in one of the 4 liter tanks that came with the instrument and I just move the tube over. You can make that 10% bleach solution in a large beaker if you'd like or an algae of some sort. If you do that, simply unscrew the cap to this container and move it over to that container to draw that 10% bleach into the system. Once you've got all of that set up, go ahead and click continue on this dialog. The next step is to take off the sheath filter. The reason for doing that is if you get bleach in that filter, it takes a long time to flush it all out, which means it could go through your samples in the flow cell for the next user after you're clean. So let's just be safe and go ahead and pull that out. You'll want to remove the sheath filter, starting with the fittings from the left and working your way towards the right. Reason for that being is there's fluid moving out of this far left one. And if we disconnect that one right away, we won't have any sheath drips in the fluidics bucket. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click continue. Next, we're going to install the sheath bypass assembly. And it's got three little prongs. The order that you attach them doesn't really matter. But if you try and follow the picture here, that's a good guide. When you're installing it, go ahead and put the leftmost connector in first. Then work your way back to the right like this. Once you've got the long, clean bypass assembly installed, go ahead and install your 10% bleach tube onto the cytometer. Then click continue. You'll notice the sample line comes down into the bleach tube and the system's going to start running all of that bleach through the system. This will take about six minutes or so to flush the bleach through. When step three has finished, you'll get this prompt for step four. So you'll want to follow the directions that it shows. So I'm going to unload my 10% bleach tube and change it out with a DI water tube. Then once I've done that, I'm going to go down to my sheath tanks and move the sheath's intake over from my bleach container back to my main sheath box. Once that's all in place, go ahead and click continue and wait another 12 minutes for sheath to flush through the system twice. Has to go through twice in order to get all of the residual bleach out of the system so that the next user's samples will be safe. Once step four has completed, 
The last dialog box will appear, step 5 of 5. For this one, let's go back to the instrument, and we should remove that long, clean bypass tubing assembly from the system. Remove that bypass assembly by this time starting at the right and working your way to the left. Once the assembly is removed, grab your sheath filter and you're going to install that starting at the left and working your way back towards the right. Once the sheath filter is in place, go back to SpectraFlow and click the continue button. It's going to run a purge filter to remove bubbles from the sheath filter you just reinstalled. Once it's over, you'll get a dialog box saying that you are finished. You can click done and feel free to go run a fluidic shutdown if you want to shut off your cytometer, or you can keep it on and let users continue to use it.